Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I continue construction of my Leif station. We are lined up with Joule and we will try to send more than one module on this opportunity. And first we have this. It looks a lot like the previous module that we sent up but you'll notice I have removed uh, these, these Wanderer cans from the side ports and we have put actual docking ports there. And that's because we've also added a fairly heavy RCS tank here. This will help with docking. We've got RCS ports. Of course, this has to dock with the first module. But we also have puff engines here. And that will help with maneuvers. Now, that, this arrangement is more for the next module than this one. This one still carries the nuclear engine with it, the swerve. But the next launch we do, we won't be carrying the swerve because we'll be intending to dock that one to the one that we brought back. So that'll be a completely different arrangement. When we try to get that next module to the one that we brought back, we'll need the puff engines to help us to rendezvous with that. So that is the plan. And, but yeah, I mean, it's a little bit complicated because that other one is in a high orbit. We might want to send something up to bring it down into a lower orbit, lower orbit first. It's difficult to say. Anyway. Uh, we might need more than just one RCS tank, which is burdensome, but we'll see. In any case, I thought getting rid of the Wanderers would help out the Delta V situation in that case uh, with the rendezvous. So this is just a test of having the puff engines and the RCS tank there. And, but this will go direct to Jewel without rendezvousing with anything in Kerbin orbit. So let's see if we can take it outside first. And then if we can't, we'll launch it from the runway as we did before. Uh, I, I don't... Well, go to map view, come back. Uh, it didn't say we have any errors, but we clearly have errors. <laughs> um, uh, we've lost two boosters, it's sideways. It didn't pop up with the dialogue at all. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe the runway is better. I decided a time warp to morning and forgot to change it to the runway. <laughs> um, and it looks like it's stable on the pad this time. I didn't move the rocket at all. I just time warped to morning. And then I accidentally forgot to change it to the runway and tried to launch again. And now it's stable. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go. I don't know what the rules are. Do you know what the rules are? Maybe it doesn't like to launch at night. I don't know. Okay, I'm having it hold prograde, but I'll occasionally deviate from prograde to try and steer it a little bit, at least. Okay, past the speed of sound. Always a bit of trouble for this thing. Oh, uh, we've done too much up, though. Eek. All right, that's not exactly the trajectory I wanted, but... And now it's spinning all over the place. Okay, we'll wait. Well, while we're coasting, we might as well get rid of that nose cone. Off it goes. Okay, we have made orbit. Let us try to get over to Jewel. Well, I think I've targeted Leif Station directly. I just wanted Jewel. I thought it was supposed to prioritize Jewel when we click on that, but it's prioritizing the Leif Station. I don't know if it's going to show me the Jewel encounter properly. We'll see. Entering SOI. If it says so. Exiting SOI over there. I'm doing some inclination change here even though it costs more just to save us the time and trouble along the way. Well, that's an encounter with Tylo. Well, it probably won't materialize exactly like that, but it's a start and possibly would capture us into orbit. Right now it's not showing enough patched conics 
for us to see because we see the exit of Tylo, but we don't see whether we capture or not. Uh, okay, we'll go with that for now. Well, because of the inclination component, it's an odd offset burn here. Okay, and go. I feel like we might be overburning, I don't know. It says stop right now. That's when we were supposed to stop the burn. I was full thrust all the way, but it still has this, so there are inaccuracies. Let's face it. We're nowhere near the vector that we're supposed to have. Oh, well, that is troubling. Uh, let's just go prograde. At least we'll hit Jules orbit like that. So we've spent more than we ought to have. This uh, attempt to do basically the mid-course adjustment bundled in with the transfer was probably a bad idea. Yeah, we'll still have to do a mid-course adjustment for the inclination bit. Okay, there we've got a Lathe SOI entry. And there we have Lathe capturing us into orbit around Jewel, but it's a tilted orbit, we don't want that. But we'll fine-tune that once we get there. We'll do this mid-course adjustment in 241 days, but... That's a while, and we want to launch something else over to Jules, so we'll just let this be and hope that we will remember about it. <laughs> hope that the chaos of the next launch isn't going to throw me off too much. Alright, so this one might take a few tries. We're gonna leave off the nuclear engine. We'll keep this tank, but not those. And not those. And we'll have the bottom docking port. And then the puff engines are going to have to help us out getting to the thing. I don't know if there's enough delta V from them. Uh, nope. Let's see, does it show me the delta V? 573. Now we just left off a 10 ton engine, so we're doing pretty well. I might put an extra RCS tank. Some extra batteries might be nice too. Maybe I should put a middle size RCS tank plus batteries. Sort of would have liked some bulkier batteries though just to fill in this space. Maybe I can put them like that. We're obviously not worried about part count. We're going to see what we can get away with with part count. No, it still won't fill that space very well. Um. Maybe we can have the little, uh, these pill-shaped tanks. We can shift those up and put the batteries down here, maybe. Well, that's not going to be 2,600 meters per second delta V, so it's just wrong about the delta V we're getting from the puffs now. Uh, okay, well, what can we do? Station 3 launch. Okay, well, um, Launchpad 1 seemed to do well for us. L let's see about Launchpad 2. Oh no. Things have fallen apart. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I know about the map view thing, you don't have to tell me, but... Uh, okay. Maybe Launchpad 1 is good. Well... Camera fix. Yeah, maybe Launchpad 2 just has an issue. Alright, we'll go like this. Let's see how it works. Now, we have to line up with... I guess default name 2. <laughs> Set default name 2 as target. Okay. Uh, I guess we could probably time warp and get to a point where we're intersecting it so we can save ourselves some trouble later on. Okay, uh, it was a little bit further south. We we're, were a little bit south of the line, but we just go, need to go a little bit north and we'll make it. Okay, so it's still okay. And... Oh, we're still in time warp. And... Off we go. J 
just stay in the green circle. It's wobbly. We are past the speed of sound. May need to turn faster. Try to lean down, but we're definitely not clear of wobbly territory here. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and force it a bit. Well, could have wanted more, but we've got some time to apoapsis to work with. Can the puffs do it? Okay. We are about to find out. Okay, prograde. Is it really 2600 with the puffs? I feel like that's wrong. But it's very adamant. I'm thinking about when to dump the nose comb, but I would like to get closer to orbit first. Uh, okay, well, let, let's try dumping the nose cone. This is a single stage game. You shouldn't have this kind of trouble reading the Delta V. Okay, undock. I mean, I would be able to calculate my total delta V if we knew the total mass of this, but I don't... I don't think we've got that number. It'd be nice if they added the number here. On the flight report. Just have the mass there or something. That could work. Or maybe at the top of the resource manager or something. That could be a good troubleshooting thing if suddenly, you know, fuel mass disappeared. You know, you could check conservation of mass like that. It sure seems like we've consumed quite a lot of our RCS fuel just getting to orbit here. I mean, our mob propellant for the puff engines, really. 3.5 degrees with respect to the target right now. Okay, we're no longer impacting. Our apoapsis will be roughly in the right place. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, well, now we have a few ways of going about this. Unfortunately, again, no good indication of our delta V here. 122 doesn't seem too bad, but I'm suspicious. Okay, that over there looks good. Well, that's pretty good. 176 relative speed there. I don't know how much this maneuver is, but we're looking like, like 600 meters per second altogether. Which is a lot. If uh, just getting to orbit, finishing up orbit costs that much, I don't know if we have 600 or even enough to do this burn. We will see. It thinks this burn is going to take 2 minutes and 43 seconds. But it also thinks we have 2,000 meters per second. So... And... go. Mm, the puffs don't seem to actually be moving this bar, but then we have more than one maneuver plotted, so... We can't judge by that. We'll just have to see when our orbit lines up with something. I, d I don't know what or It's showing me a lot of orbits here, and some of them are definitely wrong. <laughs> um, uh, some of them are definitely wrong. We're trying to get there. I don't know what that upper orbit is, but it has nothing to do with anything. Trying to get to that vessel. We're going into this orbit. That upper stuff... Doesn't make any sense. Looks like we were aiming for an apoapsis of 833, so we'll go with that as our thing. Or 828, somewhere between there. Uh, timing on here doesn't seem too bad. This time. Okay, that's what we wanted. Okay, well, we don't have the other node anymore, but that's fine. We probably needed to redo that anyway. I, uh, I don't know. We definitely don't have 357. If we had 357, we could do it.
The target also has some RCS fuel to use. I think the that node and the encounter point are probably too far apart for us to try and merge them together. I mean, the key problem here is it was going to be close to the right amount of Delta V with the puffs. And so, not knowing the exact number is the problem. I knew I had, you know, a decent amount of fuel. I just didn't know whether I had exactly the right amount of fuel. Looks like we might have wanted a little bit more. Okay, and go. We are puffing. This might be able to finish this burn. Oh gosh, it, it decided to get rid of it because it thinks I now don't have enough to do 103, but it shouldn't do that. <laughs> We're in the middle of the burn. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, whole thing is screwy. Anyway, we can just look here. Well, that's the end of our fuel here. Right now, we're five kilometers away from the target. We gotta switch to it. And just got 0.8 tons of fuel. I don't think that's enough. Oh yeah, well, I mean, it's it's got the RCS ports. Of course it does, because it needed to dock. Can it do this much? It'll need to do 100 meters per second with that 0.8 tons. I I doubt that. We'll see how close we get here, and we'll solve the problem with a tug of some kind. Uh, we're using RCS. I've... I probably wanted to start this a lot earlier. Oh, that's orbit. No, I want target. One hundred seventy-five. There's no way. Yeah, this is futile. Okay. So, we need a tug. Okay, so I just want it to be quick with this tug, and I don't know what I've done there, but... Uh, okay, hopefully that doesn't cause other glitches, but the tug is basically RCS tanks and puff engines, and the big docking port, and a controller, and some batteries. So, very simple. And then we have the big Mammoth 2 engine at the bottom, so I've got this really simple because I just want to get it done. Hopefully this will get it done. Let's try Launchpad 2, but if that doesn't work, we'll shift to Launchpad 1 and hopefully it's more stable. It does have some residual velocity, that's worrisome, but uh, I think we can go. Let's... Ooh. So we need to get to the this launch. That'll be our target. There's a, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. It's not supposed to be paused at that level. Right? This is not... That's paused. This is supposed to be unpaused, but... Hmm... Whatever. Anyway, oh, we'll launch at night. I just want to get it done. So we'll go to... Uh, Southerly... Launch Azimuth. And... That being the idea, ignition, or countdown, ignition, and launch. Well, there goes our little rocket. Well, it's large, but stout and simple. Well, the clouds are giving it some contrast, though I don't know about the plume in the clouds. That's a little bit weird. Guess that's unavoidable. Is obviously OP for the purpose, but that's fine. Oh, uh, looks like. Oop. Oh boy. Why is it not steering where I want it to steer? No. Why is it going over here? Can it not steer when we're in map view? It seemed like it couldn't steer while we were in map view. Like, I couldn't steer and neither could SAS. Yeah, I can't steer right now. It shows me actuating, but it's not moving me. You see that? 
or pitch up, pitch down. It's not really moving me. But then if I go here, when I steer, it's very quick. Uh, great. <laughs> okay, no, well, well, then we can't be in map view. Okay, let's leave the fairing. And... We might want to get a little bit closer to... Oh, there it goes, fairing. To orbit. But then we'll dispose of the booster here. Okay, now... Eight puff engines. Aha! Much puff. Okay, but we should be closer to Apoapsis for that. Okay, we're in orbit. There are two two A's. That's not right, right? That's just confusing. I mean, I know one one A and one two A is for that default name too, but I'm not targeting that. I would like to only have the information for Lay Station Three, but that is not what's happening. Well, uh, that's meeting up with something or another. Is it the right one? It looks like it. Okay, well, first of all, let's make sure our docking acquiring force is low. 2% is probably okay. And then we're docking on the opposite end from where we want the engine to attach, the engine module. So over here. Just make sure, control from here. Okay, we've docked. Okay, well, at this point, we'll want to control from this side. Well, so we don't want the other puffs to go. I hope they're deactivated. <laughs> it's tough to be sure. It still says deactivate. Let's see. Um, no, not like that. It seems like they're off. We might not have cross-feeding through this docking port right now anyway. Okay, now let's try to get over there. Okay, so trying to plot a maneuver to rendezvous with the target. It's not showing me any result. Um, it's not showing me the resulting orbit. Oh, so that delta V is wrong again. Let me just make sure I'm doing it on the line of my own path here. Yep, it doesn't want to show me the result anymore. Just eyeballing it. We're obviously got to be way ahead here. Probably around one more time here. And we'll just burn prograde. Okay, well, we'll just hopefully get those intercept points together. Since I can't plot anything. It's a little bit lopsided, but... Um, let's try and get those to meet over there. Okay. So that says 4 kilometers, 4.7 kilometers. So we'll take that, we'll go over there. And we'll match velocities, but yeah, weird stuff. Reusing the engine section is clearly a little bit more trouble than it's worth, but if we had gotten the engine section into a lower orbit to begin with, it would have been alright. Okay, I think I'll have the engine section due to docking, it's more maneuverable. So we will just point at target at this point. Okay. We'll just have this hold steady now. Switch over here. Which is... Okay, well... That should have been pointing at this. 
I don't know how it's oriented right now, but it sure isn't. It, uh, the target's definitely rotating. I told it to sit still, but it's rotating. Okay, I'll turn off RCS here. Is that a good idea or not? Um, let me just quickly time warp. That's probably a bad idea too, but I just wanted to stabilize this. Have it not rotate. Well... Even now, it seems to be pointing in a completely different direction than this. It was pointing at this, but when I turn to this, it's pointing in a completely different place. Okay, does that look okay? I think that looks okay. Okay, don't wiggle too much. You seem to be wiggling too much. Don't wiggle. Okay, we docked. Okay, well, now we want to control from here. We have to be very, very careful. Uh, do we want to have that tag along? I don't think so. We'll just dispose of the tug. But we'll transfer as much of its fuel as we can. So we, what we've got there is probably okay. All right. Uh, undocking. We'll see. You know, those don't have any problems at all. Okay. It didn't have any undocking force. It sure seems to still be sort of stuck. It says it says target, but it sure isn't. Um, it isn't pulling away from that at all. Well, we don't care if it goes into a weird orbit, though. It's probably dangerous if it does. And it's going very slowly away when we do time warp. But this is obviously a very dangerous situation. Okay, well... Let's see now. Our apoapsis is in completely the wrong location. So it doesn't help at all that it's high. Um, we'll just focus and try and target Jewel over here. Okay. Well, we are going to try to transfer this out too now, finally. And unfortunately we have to go out from here. Which is not efficient. At least it's showing me my path now. Before when I tried to plot a maneuver it didn't want to show me anything. Let's just do that and then plot the mid-course adjustment later. I've, I've had enough with trying to bundle too much into the initial burn anyway. Well we're close to the node and that's still sort of hanging out. It's certainly within render range. Okay, and go. I wonder why it's not tracking the burn this time. I didn't make a separate node. But it's not really showing the Delta V being tracked. Okay, just going with the time there. Shut down. And what happened? Well, not what we planned. <laughs> Uh, the blue line is what we have, the yellow line is what we planned, and it's not what we planned at all. It's way short. Why? 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 I, I was full thrust. It, it had the plan. I pointed at the node. It's still pointing at the node. The node didn't deviate very much, and still it couldn't do it right. So, can KSP2 keep track of two interplanetary missions at the same time? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Okay, well that looks like a mid-course adjustment will be necessary, as it was for the previous mission. Well, we don't have a Leif encounter right there, but we probably ought to be able to get one. Well, we'll wait until we're in Jewel SOI to figure that out. Uh, there was a crash course somehow right there. 
saw an exclamation mark. But anyway, we'll take that. That's our mid-course adjustment, and that will allow us to get a leaf-like periapsis around Jewel. And this is all set. So can we get a nice view of it departing Kerbin? Uh, not the angle that I really want, really. Nah, a little bit shadowy. I guess I'll take that. So, we have two station modules going out to Jewel, and we're going to deal with the mid-course corrections and then see if we can dock them to the station already in orbit around Jewel. I have not checked since we did all these maneuvers whether it's still in orbit around Lathe. Uh, so, we will see. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.